Portal 2 is a uh, instant meme generator. <laughs> But seriously, there's pretty much no wine in this game you couldn't turn into an image macro. Oh, and it's a really good game, by the way. Portal 2 is a puzzle platformer developed and published, thank you very much, by Valve Corporation. The company known for games such as Half-Life and Team Fortress 2 both of which are considered watershed moments in the first-person shooter genre for the PC, PS3, and Xbox 360, but for the purposes of this review, all footage is from the PC version. The game centers around Chell, the protagonist from the original Portal, and GLaDOS, the AI functioning as the villain of the original Portal. The gameplay is as solid and smooth as in the first game, with the player using the Portal gun to cross chambers created by GLaDOS, and later Wheatley, but more on that later. As with most sequels, new gameplay elements have been mixed in, in the form of conversion gels, which speed the player up, allow more surfaces to accept portals, etc. These new elements work seamlessly, adding new flavor to the game without actually taking away from the overall experience. However, some situations require extremely precise platforming, and one false step can mean death, and can be a pain when the process to get out of the chamber requires it. And don't get me started about the writing. The pitch black writing in this game is hilarious, and I love how the writers take you through the history of Aperture instead of rehashing the first game. Although I will commend the use of the original's beginning levels as they instill a sense of familiarity, if you've played the original, of course, in the player. Chow is a mute, so the game's storyline is mainly in GLaDOS, the maniacal, sometimes potato-based overlord, Wheatley, the moron who loses his mind, and recordings left behind by Cave Johnson, founder of Aperture Laboratories, which is where the game takes place. The story begins some very long time after the end of the original Portal, in which Chow defeated GLaDOS, and Aperture Science has since been abandoned. Chow is awoken by Wheatley, who promptly informs her that she is lucky to be alive and may or may not have brain damage. Wheatley immediately hatches a impromptu escape plan, which must go through her chamber, referring to GLaDOS. Along the way, Wheatley tells the story of a human who defeated GLaDOS and killed her. He is legitimately surprised when, after the escape plan fails, it is revealed to him that Cho is indeed the subject of his story. GLaDOS takes you as her captive and throws Wheatley somewhere. Although he comes back, he comes back back all right. However, the best thing about this story is that, thanks to its greater length, we get a little more knowledge into what makes these characters, GLaDOS in particular, tick. There's very little in the way of presentation, as Portal is a student of the Half-Life school of never leaving the first person. Thus, there aren't actual cutscenes in the game, and aside from the sleek menus, very little presentation whatsoever. There's no heads-up display, so the game leaves you to test until you die and admire the dilapidated beauty of Aperture Science. The soundtrack, which is available on Valve's website, is a bit of a mixed bag. Some of the tracks are awesome, and I like seeing the original theme. Others are just weird, however. The music uses mainly electronic sounds representing the lab, cell, certain events in the game. The relative lack of sound, other than the occasional music, some ambience, and the occasional turret, creates a bleak atmosphere in the game and a sense of loneliness. Gladys's monotone voiceover forms a sense of subjugation, like you're not exactly all-powerful and mighty, although the game is livened up a little bit after Wheatley takes over. You were warned.
game has a ton of replayability on the PC in particular, but I'll get to that in a sec. Portal 2 has a very fun co-op mode in which you play as one of two robots which have replaced each other's test subjects, but with a cooperative partner. It, it's a lot of fun as you have to work together to survive GLaDOS's ever so maniacal test chambers. Now for the PC in particular part. On the PC, Portal 2 comes equipped with Steam Workshop, where you can download user-generated content which is unplayable in-game. There's already 500,000 plus chambers, ranging from the extremely easy to the do not try unless you are mute to failure tier. Regardless, coupled with a story that's of a nice length, it's more than enough to keep you coming back. In conclusion, Portal 2 is a sequel that more than lives up to expectations. The gameplay is solid, the story is hilariously written, and bigger and better than the original allowing for some insight into the character's psyches that you don't see a whole lot of in AAA releases, or even games in general. The replayability is near endless, and the however, the soundtrack's not a exactly up to snuff, and the sometimes the gameplay requires you to be more precise than you should be. Final verdict, buy it.